Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are back on the owner's panel. We're going to go ahead and mess with the server settings some more. So we did the name and the profile picture yesterday. Now we, I mean last video. Now we want to do the description because we need a description. A server description. So we'll go description current cell server settings server description we want to copy we want to copy and paste this right here and then we want to make multi-line input make this right over here and line this up with the text box Make that as big as we can go. Server description. Dot dot dot. We're gonna mess with these open. Open sands. Actually, we're gonna go white. Placeholder white. Nope. That's flat. White. No. No flat color. Solid. Five. Eight. This is not going to be is on page load and when this button is when this input is changed we want to data make changes to thing current cell server settings server description equals this multi-line inputs back and then we also want to hide multi line input server description and then this is going to show Just go over back in. It just stays there for right now. And then we want to make this just a little bit bigger because now we're going to um, edit the the admin panel login code and the owner's panel login code. Actually, we don't even need that. Delete that. We can just copy and paste this instead of making a whole new text box. This is going to be admin panel code. Control V. Do copy and paste that into there, and then we're also going to copy and paste this. This is going to be owners. Change that one second. This is going to be owner panel login. Owner's panel login code, server settings, or current cell server settings, owner panel login code. So that's admin panel, owner panel. Then we want to make the input. So both of these are going to be a four digit code. So this is going to be new admin is going to be text numbers only or you can do text this whatever one that you guys want because you guys can make it text or numbers for the sake of this I'm gonna make it numbers only and then we want to limit the number of characters to four and then remove style open open sand black actually white yeah, white white placeholder color None, solid, five, white. That is not the white. There we go. And then this is not going to be visible on page load. So we're going to control, copy, control, paste. This is going to be new owner panel code. It's the same, everything over here. It's the same for both. So when this is changed, when this input's value changed, we want to Data make changes to the current cells server settings. Admin panel yeah, admin panel login code equals this input's value. 
and we want to hide input new admin panel code. We're going to do the same thing for this but for the owner panel. There we go. Oh, we forgot to hide this. Show these with the edit button. Show input new admin panel. Show new input new. Hold up. Input new owner panel. All right. So now that's that's done. So that that's gonna basically. This needs to go back into the screen because it fell out somehow. That's weird. Alrighty. So now that this is completed, this is the server settings panel. That's all basically you need for it. So we're going to hide this. We're going to go into the element tree. We're just going to hide server settings. Now we need to manage department management. So we're going to make a new group. how it makes a smaller group as well. Alrighty. This is going to be named Department Management. Then we can get some text into here. And like I said in the past episodes, you can do whatever font you want. It's just the font I like best. We're gonna make that 36 center horizontally. Now we also want to make this have a solid border, just so you can kind of tell where it is. There we go. I feel like that's not centered. I guess it is. All right. So now we're gonna want to make a group inside this group. You don't have to, it's just for organization purposes. And we'll go ahead and make this a solid border as well. We can center this horizontally just to make it look better. Alright, so this is going to be how you make a department. So you want to. This is going to be short name. And if you guys remember from the last episode, we actually made a data type. That had it was a department short name long name type of image. This is going to be what we're going to be doing for that. Open. This is how you're going to be able to create that data. Actually, that needs to be white. white. Non solid white. This is going to be. I can get it lined up there. Go. This is going to be long name. Actually, you make this just a tiny bit bigger. It's another hold on. Input long. So, for example, if the short name is LSPD, this would be Los Santos Police Department. And we want to do drop down. So what we're going to do is like police, fire department, we we'll just put fire, dispatch, civilian, civilian, and then you can add like court, we're going to actually add a court for this CAD because we're going to need the one to make warrants later on in the series. 
But you can add anything. You can add like military, special forces, whatever you want. This is we're just gonna have these five for right now. You guys again you can add whatever you want to your CAD. Why do I keep making it black? I want it white. Solid five white. All right. So that's gonna be type short name, long name, type. And we wanna make. A picture uploader about like that size or go, that should be fine. Actually, I'm gonna make it smaller just because it doesn't need to be huge. There we go. Apartment, apartment photo. Logo. logo. Move style. Open sands. This is just fun. No, I did it wrong. Just a bunch of repeated stuff basically. None. Solid. Five. What? So that is going to be the department. Logo. So we can actually make that a little bit smaller now. Send that horizontally. Then we want to make a button. Make it the same length as these. Bring that up to there. Go down one. Create. Go here. Open. Open sans white. None. Solid five white. Actually, we need to make that where it's even with everything else, and then we can. Bring that, and then center that horizontally. Alrighty, make sure that is not even. There we go. Alright, that's perfect. Okay, center that horizontally. Then we want to start edit workflow for the button create. Data, create a new thing. Department image equals photo upload department logos value long name is input nope input long names value short name input short names value type drop down types nope value so there we just created a department. Now we want to be able to see and delete our departments. So we can make a repeating group. Like that. S type a content department. Do a search for departments. Full list. One. New style. Solid border. Five. White. And we want to put some text into here. Current sales department's short name. Open sans white. Then this is we can put the long name down here actually. Short, this is a short name. This is going to be the long name. This needs to be even of everything. Here we go. This is going to be the type. And then, image. Image. You can spread these out just tiny bit. Current sales departments. 
image. And then material icon. Delete. Just gonna make that a little bit less smaller. We can center that vertically. Conditional. This material icon is hovered. Icon. Delete. Icon color. Red. When this material icon is pressed, you want to data delete thing current cell department. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Sorry these episodes have been short. I'm just trying to get more episodes in so maybe we can rack up some subscribers. Once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we actually are going to go daily uploads on these series. We're going to make more series, more things, and yeah. Next episode, we're going to finish off this. We're going to copy and paste this to the admin panel and then maybe get start on the patrol settings and all that stuff to be able to start your patrol and make sure the data lines up perfectly. So, yeah, if you guys do enjoy this series, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, make sure to share this video with your friends, and without further ado, peace out, guys. Me, want me away.